Uh, how excited are you just to unveil this offense in a game on Sunday and kind of show what you guys have been working on? Yeah, we're, we're really excited as offense, um, but it comes out with a great challenge. You know, this is a defense that, you know, really, you know, well coached team, uh, skilled players, um, you know, talent everywhere. And so it's a, it's a tough task. But um, for us as an offense, we've been working really hard. And so, of course, we're excited to go out there and play live games and, you know, put the first one out there, hopefully hopefully get a win, and then just keep building on it and, you know, hopefully play good football. So there's been a lot of work to, that went in to make sure that, you know, hopefully we start fast. Uh, you know, that's a that's key to us, trying to keep the same mindset we had towards the end of the year last year, um, treating all these games like do or die, you know, from the jump um, and not waiting for a, for a back-against-the-wall type moment um, to have to do that. So that's the mindset. You know, we're excited, um, but again, we got to go do it, you know, but we get to put the ball down on Sunday and finally get to play, so it'll be good. So now, so you said one of those key starting pass. I mean, how key is that just to get, I guess, everybody to, if you start fast, you kind of have that, that I guess, that momentum or just that confidence that, hey, like this thing is actually kind of working. Is that important to, to get off that fast start? Absolutely. That? Absolutely. I think it's important for everybody. You know, I, we, we always talk about it. Um, I, I, I think it's something that I don't think we necessarily talked about or needed to. We didn't talk about as much last year that I think that, you know, we were just excited, you know. Um, you know, I think this year uh, we've understood the assignment. You know, we've understood, you know, what it takes to start fast and the mindset and the work that it takes um, to be able to do that. And so, yeah, I think that would build confidence, um, you know, not only for us, you know, on the offense, but for the team and for the city, uh, and for the organization. Um, and so, uh, one thing I do know is we're going to keep working at it and getting better at it, whether it's really good or, you know, somewhere in between. You know, we we know that it can work, um, and we're going to keep grinding at it. Uh, but we're, we're excited, you know, to finally just get out there and run our stuff. Derek, I think D.A. kind of compared the season opener to, like, Christmas Eve. You're ready to unwrap the gift. What kind of gift do you think you guys are going to be presenting? Uh, I know one thing is we're going to play extremely hard and play extremely fast on offense. Um, our defense... Uh, looks fantastic. Uh, they, I, I told you all how what I thought of them last year. Uh, you know, coming here and practicing against them, and I think they're I think they're better this year. Now we we all have to go prove it, um, uh, but they they look amazing. They look ready to go, and there's just a there's just a mindset and a mentality that we're coming with right now um, that 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 I recognized you know from from late in the year last year. Now does that guarantee us a win? No. No, nothing guarantees you a win except putting the work in and then doing it on Sunday. But uh, for us, we're, we're excited to go show our brand of football um, and show what you know potentially we can be this year. Eric, how have you seen the chemistry of the offensive line kind of develop over the last few months here? I think the the best thing that has happened for them is they've had a lot of reps together. Um, you know, they all have been at practice. They've all had reps together in preseason and practice. Obviously, thousands of reps in practice, uh, walk through reps. You know, they, they're everywhere, you know, in the building together. You know, they eat together, they walk together, they walk in the meetings together. It's just, you know, you see, I'm just really, really proud of the leadership by Eric and Caesar, um, you know, and those guys in that room of just taking that, you know, taking that to heart and really, really taking that challenge. And so um, you, see it, you see it pay off, you know, on the practice field. Um, now games, we got that's when you go prove it, you know, um, but... You know, for for me, I'm, I'm I'm excited and I'm confident in those guys and what they've done, and so I, I can't wait to see how they play. How Panthers, comfortable? Sorry, okay. Just do the Panthers do a nice job of presenting like different kind of what's is it like? How do oh, you, yeah. how do you kind of evaluate the pressure that they're able to generate? I mean, they bring pressure from they bring pressure from everywhere. Uh, they'll bring a corner, they'll bring a uh, safety, they'll bring one backer, they'll bring the other backer, they'll blitz your back, they won't blitz your back. They and that defense coordinator. Uh, who, who is a good friend. Uh, he's a good man. Uh, he's Not only is he one of the best defensive minds in the NFL, but he's, e he's even better of a person. And so I know the type of man he is. I know the type of excellence he stands for. Um, and, and I've played against his defense a lot. And so I know the challenges it presents um, and the challenges it gave us last year. And so, um, yeah, I mean, he's going to have a great plan. Uh, he's going to study. He's going to work. Uh, harder than anybody, and you know that just—that's a great challenge for us to study and work hard as well. Derek, how comfortable are you? Because you know three different systems in three consecutive years, yeah. and even though the terminology might be similar or you know the aspects might be similar, but yeah. how comfortable are you? Um, I, I feel more comfortable starting this time than I did any other time because I was able, 
through a lot of experience, um, you know, really, how, how do I get ready faster? You know, how do I feel more comfortable faster? One big part of that was reps with my guys. I had a whole year of that under my belt, and so that helps. You know, when you're throwing similar routes, it's not brand new. You know, it doesn't take way too long to figure some things out. Um, now, there were some new things that I, there's some things and some routes that we were asked to throw and things like that that I haven't done before. So we, I had to get better at We had to get better at that. But for the most part, there was a lot of carry over there. And then I told you all, like, every practice we had, I would go out before and run the practice myself, you know, with uh, JT and Corey. And, like, we would run the practice. And so I, I would double up on the reps because it was really the – I can sit there and study. I can sit there and watch film all day long uh, until I'm blue in the face. But it's you got to go do it. You know, you got to put your body through the motions. You got to put do the footwork. You got to see the routes. You got to see the reads, and and that's something that we did. Now, now, now I'm going to get obviously all these game reps coming up. The season's starting and all that, and we're just going to keep getting better at it. But I feel like uh, I'm really comfortable with where we're at um, going into the season. And I shouldn't say comfortable. I should say confident. I'm confident with where we're at. Um, but now we just got to go do it. How much is week one is about adjustments? Just because you don't really, it's week one, there's no game film to watch right now. How much is it about yeah. adjustments? That's one thing I've learned in my 11 years is, you know, sometimes in week ones, it, it, it can be hit or miss in the beginning. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, the, you know, you run a play that's perfect against something that they did that was new and it's wide open and it works. You know, or, or there, there is adjustments and there are mistakes um, in every week one. You know, coaches, you hear coaches always talk about tackling, you know, in week one and all that kind of stuff and, you know, how that stuff needs to, because you haven't been doing it. Um, but, you know, with that said, you know, for, our, for us and our mindset is, you know, we are just going to go out and execute the way we've been practicing. And I'm so proud of how we've been practicing and the, the, the mentality and the intensity. I mean, you guys have seen it. I mean, the, the, intense, the intensity of practice, the, uh, the trash talking, the game-like speed of the reps, that we knew that that was what it was going to help us get ready for week one. And, and so going against our defense and watching our guys work, um, you know, gets you as prepared as you can be for a week one, but there's always wrinkles. There's always something different. And there's a lot of adjustments that, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how our coaching staff and how they communicate it, how quick we get all those things ironed out and, you know, get, get right on the right track and win a football game. You know, that, that how fast can you see something, make the adjustment and get on it? And, uh, you know, throughout the preseason, they were, you know, they would show glimpses of that. Obviously, it wasn't too much because it's a different kind of uh, scenario. But um, I'm excited to see that aspect of it as well. Can you, can you recall something um, where you, you, you didn't expect something, you know, you didn't expect something out there just from maybe any recent games or wherever you were like, oh, they're going to run one thing. And you're like, oh, this is completely not what I expected. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It happens to me all the time, <laughs> especially, when, especially when you're a veteran quarterback. They try and show you the exact same look like they'll literally stand in the same spots that you played them two years ago and like make you think one thing and then they're playing something totally different and so uh you know a lot of stuff as you get older you know it's just there's one guy out there that you find and you're like okay i got it you know or you know there's one little thing or there's one little thing or maybe it's post snap a lot of teams they make it very difficult and then they hold it all the way till post snap so you make sure your eyes are right and so you know usually with a you know an older quarterback um you know, they do things like that. You know, it's not just the normal disguise and bring it the other way. And all, they, they try and show you exact same things and do something different. Um, and that, that happens all the time. But it'll be up to us to make those adjustments. And, you know, you don't know until you see it, you know. Um, but you, you, you try your best as a quarterback to be ready for everything. And going against DA's defense, they showed us pretty much everything that you could possibly show. And so, uh, you know, hopefully as a quarterback that prepares you for a week one. Derek, I imagine some of this has to do with play calling and some of it has to do with the picture the defense presents, but like how, how do you as a quarterback kind of define when to be aggressive mm -hmm. when not to be aggressive? Yep. Come back behind? Yeah, so Clint, one thing about this system, it's very clear to me when to. It's like you guys have uh, talked about a lot of the peer progression stuff, right, with Clint and all that kind of stuff. Like it's really clear to me when to do it. Like I, I had a question. You know, that's a, it's a great question you ask because I had a question today going through something. I was like, hey, there's this, there's this, and this. Like, when do you want me to think this or think that? And he's like, I will tell you. Don't even worry about it. You just play. And it's freeing for me because if he wants to throw it there or he wants to take a shot or he wants to do this, like, obviously we're not just going to throw it up into triple coverage, you know. But, like, there's times where, you know, hey, if it's there, I want, now I want you thinking it. Hey, I don't even want you thinking it this time. You know, there, you know, he sees something. He's trying to show something or he, he's been working on, uh, you know, making something look one way to come back to that. You know, there's I don't know what's going on in his head, but I'm, I'm getting there, you know, and it'll take these game reps to learn that. 
but he makes it pretty easy on me that it's not like a big alert thing or anything like that. It's like, no, I, I'm going to be very clear so you know every time you touch that ball where your eyes should be, what you should be doing. There's no indecision at all, and they do a really good job of that in this system of making me free of those kind of decisions, like what time of, of, of the game is it, you know, because every coordinator, like this is a big thing that people don't talk about for especially a lot of young quarterbacks or quarterbacks that have changed systems, is you can get the same exact play call on the same yard line in the same moment of the game, same score, and throw one ball, and one, one coordinator says yes, and the other coordinator says don't do that. And you got to learn that, you know, because it's their, they see it a different way. But Clint is very clear with that, and he makes he makes it known to me so I can be free. And, and he also is smart. He knows I've been in a lot of systems. I have a lot of voices in my head, not to be weird, uh, but I've heard a lot of different things about certain plays, so he's very clear with me on you know when and what he wants. So that's, I mean, that's, it's freeing as a quarterback, but it's also like taking a little bit of responsibility off of the plate. You know, he's been yeah. in the league for 11 years. Like, yeah. Do you have to just be like okay with that, or do you like you know, trust the play caller and not be a tool for sure? Oh yeah, absolutely, and that's that's the system, you know. Like I have been in a system, you know, with Gruden. I, it was like he he's talking to me as I'm walking to the line because I just called five plays in the huddle, you know. Like, and I may not even check the one of those. I may go to something I want to do, and I've lived that way, and now I'm living this way, and so it's it's complete trust. And there is there's still stuff too. He gives me freedom on to do. There was one thing I did today that. You know, we didn't talk about it first, you know, but he's given me a little bit of freedom to be able to do some things uh, because he trusts me, you know, and I think that's the big thing is we trust each other. So he trusts me to do some things and I just stay in that yard that, you know, I'm, I'm so he's comfortable and I trust him to let me know when it's time, you know, and then deliver for him. You know, that, that's that's the big thing for us as players. What's going on at Taysom Hill? Just in terms of leadership, really, yep. he's not always the loudest guy in the locker room we're wearing here. Um, so how would you describe his leadership? Yeah, I think, I think the one thing about Taysom is, number one, he's just going to show you. And, you know, we always say actions speak louder than words. It's one thing for someone to be loud and say things, but, you know, all the guys in here, you know what's real and you know what's fake. You know, you, you see it because you see it co consistently, or you don't see it consistently. And the one thing about Taysom that we all know, all, all our fans know, is he's consistent. We all know, you know, when he's he's in the game, if he touches the ball, what's going to happen? He, he sees red and he's going to give you his best. And that's how he is every day. And so that's number one. Number two is he does a really good job of mentoring people that people will never see. Like, he does a great job of talking to the young guys, whether it's a quarterback. Like, he's... He's so unique because he can talk to so many different positions. You know, he can teach somebody. He can be like, hey, I know you did this, but hey, think of it like this way or think of it this way. So he does a lot of that stuff for some of our younger guys. And that alone, you know, you know, we, you know Mickey talked about that, us as older players helping the young guys. And because that, that's what helps the New Orleans Saints, you know, not only this year, but for years to come. And so a lot of us older guys have really taken young guys under our wing when we're watching film on our day off. Man, I... I told the young quarterbacks, "Come in. I'm going I'm to teach you what I'm looking at. I want this is this is different now. You know, it's not pre, it's not training camp. This is regular season. So now you're watching film in a different light. You know, and so um, there's different things, different clues, different keys. And Taysom's one of those guys that that does that too. And so um, it's it's not a lot of stuff that you'll hear or see, but he's vital to this organization and the future of this organization by how he helps.